Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today we are going to make a super soft and squishy cloud. Oh my gosh, can you feel how thick this is? Oh my word. Okay, so it has this really cool pillowy edge here. It's super squishy and soft. It is made with the Bernat Blanket Big Yarn. And this is the, the white color. This is a... Um, Vintage, it's, it's called Vintage, um, in the Bernat Baby Blanket yarn, it's called Vintage White, so it matches that. And then I'm, I've got it worked up here in the Country Blue color, which is color 26016. And um, you can also get um, other big yarn like this. Um, this is a jumbo size seven, um, and it comes with, um, the balls are 300 gram balls or 10 and a half ounces. They're 32 yards. There's other balls of other brands with 28 yards. Uh, this is gonna take you about, um, I would get three balls just in case. And um, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna need that big jumbo yarn. You're gonna need about three balls and then a US 50 or 25 millimeter hook. It is also called a U. I'm using a Tunisian hook and when you use a Tunisian hook, it goes by the knitting um, measurements here, but if you're getting a crochet hook, it's the same thing without this little end, and it would be a letter U in the US, but it's also 25 millimeter. Okay, so we're gonna work on this, and then also, if you haven't seen, we've got these crochet wings, and so I made the wings so that if you do a little baby prop, you can put a baby on it and then lay them a little naked baby in the little bottom out and put these little wings on them. Um, or you can um, use this for other purposes, but these little wings are really kind of sweet. Um, you could do them in the white and do this little blue-gray um, deal here or do, um, do a white and then maybe do this color here. So make whatever color you want. This is the baby blanket yarn and then this is the big baby blanket yarn. All right, let's get started. Okay, get, to get started, I'm gonna take the wrapper off of my ball because working with this yarn, I have found that I take the wrapper off and kind of squish it up and then start using it, pulling it from the outside. That works best for me. And then I can just lay this on the floor or in a big bowl. I got my yarn, my number seven, and my hook, which is 25 millimeters. We're gonna make a slip knot and chain. If you're doing a sample on the baby blanket yarn, then you're gonna want a J hook and work with 19 chains to start. Make sure and keep this generous and loose. And we're going to chain 43. Keep going and I'll meet you back at the end. So I've, I've made my sample just a little shorter, but you're gonna need 43, and again, it's three balls. Uh, now we want to do is go into the uh, third chain from the hook. One, two, three. This is on row one. Okay. And I'm gonna yarn over and go in. Make sure that there's two loops on top here and then pull through, yarn over again, pull through one, two, yarn over again, pull through one, two. Yes, it is super loose. You did it right. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna skip the next two chains. This is the only one like this. this, is the only row where you only do the one there, okay? So we're gonna skip again and I like to kind of feel along. So once I've made this big old loop here, I find the next bottom big loop and I go, okay, that's one, two, and then I go on to three. And I'm gonna go in and pull out one. We're gonna be a single crochet. Pull one, pull through both of those, yarn over. Go through, pull through another, yarn over. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one double crochet. Let's do another one. Yarn over, 
go through that same hole, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, okay? So what we've done is we have, in that skipped, we skipped those chains and then came over and went through one single and two double. And you can feel that there's one, two, three stitches here. Now we're gonna move on, <clears throat> I'm gonna skip down. You have a multiple, by the way, you can change sizes on this. So your multiple is two plus three. So make your number divisible by two and then add three. So I just went into this hole here. So I'm gonna kind of feel along and this big giant yarn is kind of hard. Um, the first the first row is always the hardest. So we're gonna go one, two, three. This is like kind of hard to feel. Okay, no, I'm sorry. See, and that's part of that one. So this is the one here. So we're gonna go one, two, and then we're going into the third from the hook. See how hard that was? So once you get this first row down, I promise when you when you do the next one, it's going to be so much easier because it's very clear where you go. And we did the single crochet and we're pulling through a double into that same hole. Make sure that your foundation row doesn't get twisted up. Make sure it's always at the bottom. Pull through one, two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that's a, that's a single and a double, one more. Yarn over, go through, pull through one. Make sure this is on the bottom. Pull through one, two, and one, two. Okay, there it is. That's your textured stitch. Now we have this little area here left, okay? So what we're gonna do is, um, Go into this last hole, make sure that this little stitch, so it looks like three big loops. You're like, which one is it? Well, it's this lower really loose one, and then these two are gonna be on top, and your little snip slip knot is at the end. So we're gonna go straight through and do one single crochet. Pull through, yarn over, and pull through one here like that, okay? So it is gonna be a loose end, and this will end up working out <clears throat> towards the end. Okay, so now we're gonna do row two. Row two is very, um, very simple. W once you get going on this crochet, it seems really difficult, but I'm telling you, once it starts going, it, it actually really flies and it works up really fast. I mean, this is like three or four inches right here. That's huge. I mean, look at my hand. So we're gonna chain up. This is row two, chain one, two. This serves as a single crochet. We're going to turn it around and do a double crochet into this first hole right here. Double crochet, and again, yarn over. See, once I have this foundation row, it acts as this rigid bottom that <laughs> kind of holds everything down once you've got it going. Okay, now we're gonna skip over to this next hole way over here. You're skipping two chains that are on the top, but you can see this hole is very clear. So we want to single crochet, yarn over, pull through, do the double, yarn over, that's one double, and one more double. So we got single, double, double. Again, if you want to count them with your fingers after you're done to make sure you have enough. So we've got one, two, three. Look how huge that is, right? So now we're coming to the end. We've got one, two of these texture stitches waiting for us. All we're gonna do is continue to just come to the end, leave this big one hanging, pull through, and single crochet one time. That's it, no more double crochets. We are done with this row two. That's all you do. When you decide you want to finish, basically, you just stop where you stop. If you get the cloud how you want it, then you're done. I'm going to chain up one, two, and turn for the next row. And if this was the end of this cloud, I would just go ahead and do one texture stitch, and then I would fasten it off here. Now, I only did this very short just for this tutorial here. I'm going to show you the big cloud and where I fasten that off. So I'm going to switch up, and we'll meet you in a moment. Okay, I am almost done. I have worked 10 rows. If you're not really sure, you can actually kind of use your hands to count it. 
So this is eight, nine, 10. I have all these rows here and they are gradually decreasing here. See how this makes this really cool bump here, okay? And then I've got this, this row here that I'm finishing up, okay? And I've got two left and all we're gonna do is come down here, pull our yarn through and we're going to single crochet um, I actually like to give it just a little bit of oomph here, just a little bit of building because that single crochet just kind of builds it up just a little bit so it's not like so violently stopping. It kind of has a little bit of a straight point here. And then all I do is I'm gonna break my yarn. You can use scissors, but this pops off very nicely if you're not strong enough. I mean, it is pretty strong on the big yarn. So um, you can also use scissors. And then just pull that on out and then you're just gonna wanna weave it in. And actually, I just weave it in with my hands. Um, it's just so big that it's it would kind of be hilarious to try and use a needle or even the crochet hook. And so I just continue to work this down and get, get it where I want it, fastened off. And then I go ahead and cut it. And now it is all done. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Good Knit Kisses. I'm so glad that you joined today for this cloud baby mat and prop tutorial. Again, you can make the baby crochet uh, angel wings here in different colors. This would be kind of superhero-ish. Um, you could even make them um, as a little butterfly, whatever you wanna do. Uh, the clouds can be made on the smaller blanket yarn and um, maybe even put on a blanket and have lots of little clouds hanging around and little angel wings. So just use your creativity. You are a creative person. You were created to be creative. So I hope you have a great day and happy crochet. Bye-bye.